I'm sure everyone is feeling a little bit carb sugar overloaded this weekend with all of the mamas feasting and time spent together. Hope you had a great weekend. In other words, you had a lot of cookies this weekend. <laughs> yeah. And you're hoping everybody else says, oh, yes, don't worry about Friday, it, Dina. Saturday, we all Sunday. agree, too. Thank goodness we're doing a workout with Brad today because I need to work off some of the LBs. Yeah, Look how really. cute this floral arrangement is. Which There's ones baby are these? pineapples like in coral. here. Excuse me, there are baby pineapples in here. They look like baby. Oh. I don't know if you can see you what looks see? like baby pineapples. Little ananas. Is this real? Here we go. Show, what? show, show. Yeah. Ananas. <laughs> ananas. We have no ananas. Is, is Frank today. available? Is Frank available? That's Bloom awesome. Boulevard. Rustle up, Frank, would you? Ow, ow. ow. Okay, don't touch it because he's out of live eye today. Is it a cactus? A Ow. He's, 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 you've hurt yourself. Okay. Uh, hey, Frank. <laughs> what is yeah. this? Hey, buddy. It's can you, bit, you have a monitor there? It's a little bit prickly. Yeah. All right, can you see this? I can, yes. Frank, this is what? so cool. What is this? Is it a yeah. cactus? I touched so, it thinking it was a pineapple. Uh, that is actually, it's an ornamental pineapple oh. that you have there. So that's the ornamental pineapple. And then if you look at the floral arrangement that you had there, that thing that looks like from the 1970s, yeah. it's, kind of, it's celosia, <laughs> the felty thing. <laughs> yeah. There's some celosia that's in there. It looks it's like cool. Yeah, it looks like that's... Uh, yeah, it's celosia. It's an annual that people can grow in their in their gardens. You got some roses mm. in there, some eucalyptus. That's a really nice. There you go. It's groovy, baby. And it's a great spread. It's we a great spread, y'all. <laughs> uh, what what words do you there have you for go. what words do you have for people who planted a whole bunch of things <laughs> this uh, this week, thinking as summer is here? Oh. Yeah, you know what, tomorrow night, uh, so tomorrow during our forecast on BT, we'll tell you where we're going to have some frost. Tonight's going to be fine, but tomorrow there will be some people that have to cover up things like tomatoes and peppers and uh, any cucumbers that they planted. Cover so tomorrow's a really important forecast. <laughs> okay, the tomatoes. Yeah, cover we your have tomatoes. To, yeah, cover up the tomatoes. Cover up those your tomatoes. Chives, your chives would be fine, though, by the way. <laughs> oh, your chives, your chives will, will be, be fine. fine, by the way. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thanks, yeah. Frankie. Get right. back to work. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, boy, we've got a lot going on. There's a lot going on today. So there's a new, there is a new report that has come out. Uh, Seymour Hersh, uh, who is a, a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, is coming out with a bombshell report uh, that just came out an hour or two ago, and it's already making headlines around the world. And that is, is that, the, that according to his high-ranking sources, the U.S. lied about how they got Osama bin Laden, and he may already have been a prisoner of Pakistani officials years before. So again, he's got what? one high-ranking source is saying that, that the U.S. government has rewritten history, which is not, you know, which would not be unheard of for any government to do that. So, but if this is true, I guess that's are, huge. Whenever I get on Netflix, I get into those documentaries of all the conspiracy theory thing, and then you honestly think, like, are these possible? How are, or plausible? Because Who are they putting make these stuff. together? What was the Jessica Chastain movie that was based on Zero that? Zero Dark Thirty. Right, so yeah. the whole thing was supposed well, to be giving historical accounts so leading up to the capture of Osama bin Laden. Well, I mean, we, st we still, to this day, argue whether or not there, there was a moon landing or not. Right. True. Uh, but, uh, you know, Seymour Hersh is, is, not, uh, is not some National Enquirer reporter, so it's definitely something to, to pay attention but to. But he's not going for the shock but at all. Always, he believes. You don't know. I mean, was, was he set up in the story as well? So you don't know. But at this point, looking for some truth. We'll have to wait and see, right? Yeah. Uh, the other thing that's very serious, well, not very uh, overly serious, but it's very serious, of course, in the labor community and the education community, so what's going on in the schools. Mm -hmm. Want to let people know because everybody's wondering, oh, does that mean there's no field trips today? No. Field trips are on. Okay. Sports, extracurricular activities, still on this morning in all the public schools. So pack your kids, make sure they're prepared, and it's going to rain, Frankie says. So yeah. bring your Just galoshes, umbrellas. Yeah. And have the school day forecast for you in a bit. But we'll have the latest on all of these stories throughout the morning here on Breakfast Television. Yeah. How was your weekend, guys? Oh, God. My weekend. I had, bachelor party. <laughs> I had a bachelor party in Muskoka and then had to go to a wedding, a completely different wedding, the next day. So let's just say the festivities were in full form. I was going to say, is it because you were the bachelor that now you're invited to every bachelor party? He has a bachelor party every other weekend. Like, I have bachelor parties and communions. I think I'm going through that phase right now where every, every guy that I grew up with is now getting married. Okay, what age is that? I'm curious now. Most of them are 30, 31. Early 30s. Yeah. And yeah. You, my, my friend last night was, uh, or sorry, on uh, Dan's wedding, was he was 34. Have you ever been a best man? Have I ever been? Yeah, I've, no, I've been in wedding parties. But not as a I best. think uh, that responsibility will fall on somebody more <laughs> mature than I. 
That's the best kind. That's what yeah. you want. You want a Brad Smith in your wedding party, instant party uh, starter. Well, no, we we had fun. You know what? It's very low key, but it was so it was two very different groups. Uh, the group for the bachelor party was all my CFL football friends. So I can only oh. imagine what I like to call the meathead group. Oh, did and they then mind we, that name? Yeah, no, God, they love it. And then uh, and then we go over to uh, my friend Dan, who I went to Queen's University with, who was uh, these are the more reticulated fellows. <laughs> So I, I and, and I know there's a lot of parents uh, from from my son's high school and and who in the next few weeks right. were on pins and needles over the weekend and so it was prom time yeah. and so that means the after prom stuff and things like that so my son was away for the weekend and we were all like all right he's getting older we got, but, but everybody all the parents were together on Friday night. Okay, 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 they're so, yeah. there now. There you go. Let's That'll hope we've imparted wisdom and strength in our children. Let us hope we have done that. <laughs> done your job well, <laughs> That was Kat. a great voice. Let us hope we've done that. It is 7 o'clock on Breakfast mm. Television.